Good morning, everybody. Welcome to My Creative Time with Emma. And also, welcome to our second day of our sneaky peeks for the 80th edition release. Today, we have an awesome new set for you we are showcasing. And this new set is a stamp and die set called Never Stop Dreaming. And there are a total of... 11 stamps along with two coordinating dies okay so I am going to go ahead and show you the card I made with it first and then I'll show you the dies okay so this is the card I made right here and I love it because I've been having dream catchers on my mind forever had it in my little arsenal for a really long time so I'm super super excited that I'm finally able to get to it so here goes I have two uh, dream catchers in this set. One's, of course, you know I had to do a heart one, and then the other one's like a circle one, um, and they're both different. And then the little cloud came from, this is just a little piece of it, came from, from one of the dies from one of my little doggy sets. Um, so I figured that would be perfect to put, and the sentiment actually fit perfectly into that little cloud. And I just went ahead and just used some white embossing powder, heat embossed it, um, and then I colored it. I didn't color it on camera, people, because it. I wasn't sure. It took me a while sitting here, the, what the colors. At first, I had different colors I wanted to use, um, and then I had changed my mind at the last minute. This was. I actually colored this in like last week. Um, so I wanted to do blues for sure, but then I wanted to do this other color. So I kind of colored two of them in. So the other one I'm going to use for the blog hop day. So the colors I used for this was, of course, I used my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. I used light blue, cobalt blue, um, cornflower blue and gray brown okay and then what I did was I just went ahead and I just used some glossy accents just to accent some pieces in there um, and then I use my little this is just the little chunky glitter that you could get this from any any little um, craft store um, and I added that up there and that's it just kept it simple and then of course I used some rectangular dies as well and then I just used these little enamel dots that I had in my stash. And then that's it. It was a really super duper quick card to put together. And the longest you'll, you'll probably take with it is just trying to figure out what to color with it. Or um, I do want to do with it embossing with it because that is super duper easy. Like you could just go ahead. You could see the samples that my design team made to see how simple you could do this. And then how you can kick it up some notches. This set is is really easy to work with, and I love it. Okay, everyone. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed our sneaky peeks. Oh, actually, before I go, let me show you the actual um, dies. These are the two dies for. So here goes the little heart shaped one I made, and then here goes the little circle one right there. Okay. So those are the dies that go with this set. Okay, and then like I said, that is it. For us for today don't forget to head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has for you today and also don't forget to see if you are the lucky winner of yesterday's sneaky peek um and then for today's um sneak peek that we have go ahead and leave your comments on all of our blogs today for a chance to win this set called never stop dreaming and I will be announcing this winner on my blog tomorrow morning. Okay, everybody? So thank you so very much for tuning in. Have a fabulous day. And I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.